Hello. Welcome back to the Space Gulag. We're back with our very first animation. Special thanks to our patrons and to our sponsors for making this possible. This is all because of you guys. Stay tuned for more animations. Let's get into the video. Our story begins inside of the Senate building. Anakin cannot believe what he had just done. He fell back and he dropped his lightsaber on the ground as Sidious rises up from the window cell as he turns to face Anakin with his glowing yellow eyes. He looks at Anakin and tells him that he's fulfilling his destiny to become his apprentice and use the dark side of the force. Anakin looked at Sidious, but all he could think about was Padme. He just wanted to save her. This is the only reason why he did it. He just wanted to save her life. And Sidious told Anakin that the only way to do that was to cheat death, but it had only been achieved by one other, but they could discover the secret. Anakin looked at Sidious without saying a word, letting Sidious say to him whatever he wanted to fill his mind. He was just coming down from the adrenaline rush after all. Sidious grinned as he turned around looking into the skyline of Coruscant, telling Anakin that the Force is strong with him, and telling him that he'd be known as Darth Vader. Sidious continued telling Anakin that he must wipe out the Jedi from the galaxy, as he instructed Anakin to go to the Jedi Temple to catch them off balance. Do not hesitate, and do not show any mercy. Anakin stood up and left the room as he got into contact with his clone commander on planet, Commander Appa, telling him to ready the troops and prepare to execute Order 66. Appa would salute and the hologram would end as Anakin raised his cloak over his head as he marched himself out of the office and out of the Senate building. Anakin would meet his men at the bottom of the steps as they marched into the temple. Inside the temple, people were sleeping, meditating, training. The people he served to protect throughout the Clone Wars, the sounds of the marching of the temple haunted his mind. As he reached the top of the steps, he could see the light illuminating from inside the Jedi Temple. He thought of Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, Yoda. Anakin stopped in his tracks. A few Jedi Temple guards could be seen walking out of the temple itself. The clones who were walking behind Anakin passed him like a rock in a river. Anakin watched as a few temple guards in front of the temple were gunned down by his elite unit of clones. Before Anakin could react, the men were running in as Commander Oppo started pushing the forces forward. All he could see were blaster fire as Anakin stood starstruck as his men ran past him, all making their presence inside of the Jedi Temple known. Blaster fire erupted as lightsabers could be heard igniting. Anakin looked up from under his robes as explosions rang out in front of him. He could hear the sounds of both the men he served with dying and the sounds of lightsabers deflecting blaster shots. The Jedi Temple was in chaos, and so was Anakin's mind. A tear fell down his eye as he looked at the destruction he helped create. Anakin loved his men, but he couldn't do this to the Jedi. It wasn't right. He couldn't turn back on them when Palpatine had to tell him that they had to discover it together, and meant Palpatine didn't know. Anakin's lightsaber illuminated his dark robe as he stormed forward inside the Jedi Temple. As the clones pushed forward in their assault, a blue lightsaber began to tear through the clone lines. Anakin Skywalker surprised his men as a few who saw him didn't have enough time to react. All by the time he got through them, Anakin would call out to the other Jedi and tell them to gather inside the archives. He would fend off the clones. The Jedi were starstruck. Explosions flew up behind them and they nodded as they turned and ran. Anakin heard children crying out in fear and saw the children on the walkway that went through the temple. Anakin ran towards it and jumped up as he landed between the clones and the Jedi younglings. Anakin jumped back and blocked the blaster shots and made sure to protect the children from the blaster fire. Anakin made sure to stay in front of the children as the blaster bolts flew by them. He saw more men running down the walkway before two Jedi jumped through, cutting the clones down where they stood. Anakin looked at the younglings and as well told them all to get to the archives. It would be safer there. Anakin then remembered an important member of the Jedi Order as he ran to go find them. Around the corner, Commander Appa was ordering his men to gun down three Jedi as they tried to make a march. Anakin started to cut through his men as Commander Appa turned around to see General Skywalker running towards them with his lightsaber ignited after gutting one of his own men. Appa pulled his blaster out as he shot at his general, but Anakin blocked the shot as he got closer and closer as he cut the blaster out of Appa's hand and spun around throwing his blade into Appa's stomach. Anakin sheathed his lightsaber and ran over to pick up the child. His name was Grogu, as he found another Jedi to hand Grogu to. Temple guards throughout the Jedi Temple were fighting back the clones. Master Sinjalik led the Jedi defense force against the clones. They were taking a strong stance against the clones. While the 501st was an elite unit, they were beginning to lose the momentum that they had during the beginning of their attack. The skilled Jedi were able to make their push, and there was an added benefit of a Jedi grouping up inside of the archives, creating an impenetrable barrier. The chaos of the Jedi Temple was turning into redemption. After hours of Order 66, the Jedi Temple stood, with thousands of members still alive. 
Anakin looked at the rubble and what was left behind. There were thousands of dead clones and Jedi all across the temple, and it would have to be cleaned up. But as the Jedi walked out to see the wreckage of the Jedi Temple, they saw Anakin as his robes whipped behind him as he marched his way out of the temple. They watched as he walked out through the smoke that was left behind. Anakin stormed his way down the steps and found a ship as he made his way to Padme's personal residence. Anakin was most concerned about his wife and how she was doing. When Padme saw Anakin's ship, she ran up to greet him, saying that she saw flames from the Jedi Temple. Anakin held his wife as he spoke, looking at the ground while he did, and telling her that the Chancellor was a Sith Lord, the one they'd been looking for, as he turned the clones against the Jedi and the Republic against the Separatists. He was behind it all. Anakin figured it out. He was behind everything. Padme didn't know what to say, so she said she would try and gather an emergency meeting of Senate so that they could throw the Chancellor out of power before he did more damage. Anakin thought this was a good idea, so he would go to the Senate building as well to try and stop Sidious before he did anything worse. Anakin walked into the Senate building with his robes flashing behind him. He would find his way to Palpatine's office. Sidious was waiting there for Lord Vader to return. He sat behind his desk, but of course, him being the powerful dark lord he was, he knew there was something awry in the Force. He looked up to see his apprentice enter the doorway as Sidious smiled, expecting Vader to tell him all about his stories of killing Jedi in the temple. Anakin kneeled and Sidious smiled. Anakin's head peered up as Sidious frowned. Sidious wasn't dumb, he wasn't going to pretend to fall for Anakin's treachery anymore. Sidious raised his hands as Anakin pulled his lightsaber from his waist, igniting it as lightning shot down at him on the ground. Anakin was deflecting Sidious's lightning, but he was beginning to struggle against the power of Palpatine. Anakin's face illuminated as he resisted the lightning with his lightsaber. Anakin rose from the floor and swung his lightsabers with balanced lightning back into the face of Sidious. Anakin stood before Sidious, looking down at the Sith Lord. Sidious growled as a red lightsaber shot out from his side. Sidious then began his assault on young Skywalker as Anakin bounced back and forth deflecting strikes made by Sidious. Anakin fell back into the Chancellor's pod that led into the Senate chambers. Anakin's elbow tapped the switch as Sidious jumped onto the small platform and tried to kill Anakin. Sidious was incredibly focused on his attacks. He didn't notice the pod was rising into the middle of the Senate chambers, as all the senators all across every star system watched this magnificent flashing of blades take place before them. Anakin rose, seeing the hundreds of Senate pods around them. The two of them locked blades again, keeping one another at bay. Their blades illuminated the dimly lit Senate chambers as they danced around the pod, clashing blades in a tornado of power, fury, and still. At moments, Anakin had the advantage. At others, Sidious had it all. Their blades intensified as the two of them got closer into each other's face. Anakin told him he couldn't believe that Sidious would just betray him, and Sidious rebuttaled it, saying that he couldn't believe that Anakin would choose the Jedi over his wife. Anakin got angrier as he tried to kill Sidious. Sidious knew this duel wasn't going to end, so instead, he was going to punish Anakin as he shot lightning across the room at Padme and Bale's pod. Anakin then studded his blade forward into the chest of Sidious as he turned to see Padme's pod absorbed in lightning. Anakin looked at his wife who was laying on a medical bay table with a respirator on. She was breathing, but she took quite a shock. As for Bale, he was scarring. He was much worse. He took the brunt of the electricity so that Padme didn't get killed by it. Anakin sat quietly in the hospital bay. The Senate was working on revoking Order 66, but it would take time. Anakin was just waiting here so that his wife could give birth. It would take time, but eventually Obi-Wan would find Anakin after Padme gave birth to Luke and Leo. Obi-Wan would enter the medical bay with his robes on, and find Anakin and Padme holding their two children. Anakin would turn to see his master standing in the doorway, near the room where Padme gave birth. Obi-Wan smiled at Anakin, and Anakin looked at his master. Not a word needed to be said. They both knew that there was no secret between them, and that's all it needed to be. Obi-Wan smiled at Anakin and left the room. The Jedi would have to rebuild their order, but with few council members still alive, they would find themselves one new Jedi Master to add to the council, Master Anakin Skywalker. While no one knew about his turn against Windu or the birth of his children, they would know of his heroics and how he was able to save the Jedi Temple from the likely execution at the hands of the clones and the death of the Sith Lord. The Senate would revoke Order 66, and the Jedi and the Republic would rebuild in an era with droid rebellions and divided support by Separatist leaders. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our story. Again, special thanks to our patrons. You guys made this happen. Our notable patrons, our Grandmaster patrons, Benjamin Wells, Icy Raptor, Anakin003, and Gort. Thank you all so much for supporting this. Thank you to our sponsors in Raid and in Surfshark. This is something I've been working for on a, for a long time. I started this project back in, I believe, July it was. And now I got two more coming up for you guys soon. And I'm going to be adding more to that. So please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button because we're going 
we're going to do something unique here. We're going to keep shooting for the best content Star Wars wise on the platform. So if you support that and you want to see more of that, hit that subscribe button. I'm giving away three lightsabers when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Go down below, there's a dock. You click on the dock and you go into the dock and you write your name on the dock. I will pick three lightsabers in a video, not in the comment section. I pick all my, I pick all my winners in video so you guys get to see them. I'll pick all three winners when we hit 50,000 subscribers. So smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and stay tuned because we have two more epic animations on the way within the next month. And I'm going to be planning for new ones after that. I love you all. Spread the love. And always remember, my friends, may the Force be with you.